Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to, um, in the last video, we we showed you how to download prices. Now, this is what the prices would look like once we downloaded them. Now, this would be in two separate spreadsheets, but in our case, we turned it in. I, I copied and pasted, pasted the NASDAQ returns, and I simply went across here and hit the left um, the left mouse uh, button, and I copied and I pasted it. So that's all you have to do. But we're not going to do it now because we did it. So you'll have these set sitting side by side. What we want to do is focus on, so this is the S&P returns. And remember, we're trying to see how movements in the NASDAQ predict movements in the S&P. And we want to focus on the adjusted close because the adjusted close accounts for dividends, splits, and all the stuff we want to look at. So we're going to basically get rid of everything but the adjusted close because we want to account for the dividends. Remember this simple uh, return is always yesterday's price, today, tomorrow's price, or the next day's price versus the yesterday's price, plus some plus a dividend divided by yesterday's price. So you do that by finding the adjusted close. Volume is we're going to get rid of, but we always want to pay attention to volume because if it's in a liquid security, then that means maybe our prices are not accurate. You know, prices just like housing prices or asset prices are a function of how liquid the markets are, how much supply and demand. If you watch my economics videos, we talk about supply and demand and pricing, how important that is. So uh, in this case, these things are incredibly liquid, so probably some of the most liquid assets on the planet. So we know that we're getting a good supply demand equation and good prices. So we're going to get rid of that. <clears throat> and now what we have to do is find the log normal returns. And we use the log normal returns because they account for continuous compounding. And continuous compounding is how we look at financial um, metrics because the, because the log normal or the in some cases when we do forward value, we do the exponential function. And I've gone over that in some of my time value of money and I'll continue to do that. I'll do some more. That accounts for continuous compounding. Exponential is Euler's number. Log normal is the reverse. So how do you do log normal returns? How do you get continuous compounding? Well, first you do a simple return. That would be that price minus this, and you want to put parentheses around that because it's its own number. That's the, that's the two-day change. And then you want to divide by the previous day. Well, now you're going to get a simple return. And then all you have to do at that point is just click and copy and do the same thing here. And you know that your date's lined up because we checked that at the very beginning. So your date should only always lined up because you don't want to be comparing two separate you don't want to be comparing two separate sets of dates. You want to you want to make sure that your data is the same date, otherwise you're going to get a bad regression. You know you're going to be comparing apples to oranges. You want to compare things on the same day. So always you know make sure of that when you download your data. In my case, I'm comfortable with it because I have a very liquid thing, and notice that they both end on the same day. So I'm comfortable. You, know, you have to clean your data, you have to parse your data, you have to understand your data. <clears throat> That's the key to doing data analytics. I mean, you can't just run the numbers, you gotta know the numbers are correct. So we're gonna add one to create a base. That's another thing you need to do. We're gonna add one to this simple return. And that's just mathematics. Notice it's a little negative because it was a negative return that day. And on positive days, it'll be a little more positive. And we're going to copy that number here. Copy that same formula. And beautiful. And notice the lost three percent, and you're going to get it made three percent, so you're going to get a positive number. And now we'll run the log normal function. And we, it's re, I recently used it. 